Intelligence agencies in India have raised alarms on various occasions over the looming threat of radicalization in the country. Agencies have warned that many radical groups have been making attempts to increase their presence in several cities across the country. Recently, a district court in India awarded life imprisonment to 12 members of a banned jihadi outfit, which once again reminded us of serious threat radicalization posed to the country. We take a look. Seven years ago, these confined persons were studying engineering. But instead of creating new technological advancements, they chose the path of terror and joined radical organization Students Islamic Movement of India, popularly known as SIMI. They had links with the terrorist organization Indian Mujahideen when they were arrested in March 2014 by anti-terrorist squad and special group of the Rajasthan police. Recently, Jaipur court awarded life term to these 12 SIMI members on terrorism charges. These technocrats have been found guilty of buying SIMs by showing fake documents, raising funds in the name of jihad, giving shelter to terrorists and conducting recce for bombings. सुप्रीम कोर्ट के डायरेक्शन थे कि 31 मार्च से पहले पहले इसके अंदर फैसला सुनाया जाए लगातार ढाई महीने से हमने इसके अंदर फाइनल आर्गुमेंट्स करे हैं जिसके अंदर हमने 600 पेज की रिटर्न आर्गुमेंट की पेश किए उन सब के बाद आज अदालत ने इसमें फैसला सुना दिया गया है जिसमें 13 एक्यूज में से मशरफ इकबाल को बरी किया गया है शेष सभी एक्यूज को सभी धाराओं में एक्सप्लोसिव एक्ट के अंदर यू एक्ट के अंदर और आई की धाराओं में दोष सिद्ध किया गया है the Students Islamic Movement of India is a banned organization of young extremist students which has declared jihad against India. It aims to establish Darul Islam, that is land of Islam, by either forcefully converting everyone to Islam or by violence. As the organization doesn't believe in a nation state, it doesn't believe in the Indian constitution or the secular order. This terrorist outfit is still believed to be operating underground with networks spreading in many states. SIMI has a nationwide presence with bases in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and Assam. Aurangabad, Maligaon, Jalgaon and Thani districts of Maharashtra are considered to be a hotbed for SIMI. As far as radicalization and extremism is concerned, organizations and leaders may be neutralized or eliminated, but their ideology remains alive. And that is the biggest and most potent danger arising from groups as the CME, who may have been marginalized, but their ideology can be triggered, a fresh wave, create new organizations, and carry out disruptive activities in the country at a later stage. And thus, these have to be monitored. When it comes to brainwashing young Muslim minds, SIMI is not alone. There are many other radical Muslim organizations which are major concerns for security agencies for supplying recruits to Pakistan-based terrorist organizations. They often carry out their activities in close collaboration with Pakistan's covert agencies that have directed violence against India. Over the years, such outfits radicalized Indian Muslim youths and formed networks to train, plot and execute terrorist attack. The government can only provide the overall direction and the resources and the environment for these organizations and groups of individuals to spread the counter-radicalization movement and facilitate it. It is up to the society as a whole to prevent and check radicalization. The unlawful activities of such organizations are not confined to fresh recruitment for carrying out terror activities. They are also engaged in spreading religious discord in society. In many parts of India, these outfits have infiltrated madarsas Muslim clubs, libraries and other cultural bodies for covert mobilization of Islamist forces. They are operating under the cover of religious study centers, rural development and research centers. 
security agencies in the country need to increase their efforts to make sure such propaganda does not bear fruits on Indian soil.